Hi everybody. I hope that you all are well aware about our previous portion of distance and displacement. Now we have to move into our next set of parameters which, which are needed to measure the motion mathematically. So let us go into it. Let me to ask one thing. If you become late to reach your school or morning at morning, what do you do? After leaving home, we will walk fastly, right? Otherwise, if we were having enough time to reach the school, we will walk slowly, enjoying the beauty all around. In such a way, we will move. So here are two conditions we dis discussed. One is walking fastly and another is walking slowly. So here, how much fast the motion is or how much slow the motion is, that is our next parameter about the fastness or slowness of the motion that we will decide or measure using our next parameter. So observe here, two points are marked and three bodies are covering that distance. One a man, a boy riding in bicycle and a car. Who do you observe? What is the difference in the motion of the three? Can you say what is the difference? Yes, the car moves so fastly or the car covers the distance in a very short time, right? So they are, the car takes less time and moves fastly and the man, the walking man, he takes more time, right? So, and we can say that the car moves fastly there. So, the speed of the car is greater. So, the word we used there is speed. That is our next parameter. What is mean by speed of the body? Actually, speed is the distance covered in unit time. Speed is the distance covered in unit time. So that is our next parameter. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Then it's a unit. What about it's a unit? What is the unit of distance? We know meter. Unit of time? Seconds. So the unit of speed is meter per second. And other than meter per second, we have much uh, some other higher units also. That is kilometer per hour. Normally, you know, in our vehicles, uh, when we are uh, moving in bus or car, the speed is saying in kilometer per hour this meter per second is the SI unit and the no, normal unit generally we use kilometer per hour also next how we can convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second so when you are solving the numericals the question may be in kilometer per hour but every calculation we have to do in SI unit so how we can convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second listen here kilometer per hour we have to convert it into meter per second. Then kilometer should be converted into meter. One kilometer is how many meters? Thousand. So thousand meter by hour into second. Hour one hour is how many seconds? 60 into 60. That is equal to thousand divided by 3600. Equals. Then on cancelling we will get it as 5 by 18. So one kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. That is the conversion. 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. Then conversely, 1 meter per second. How we can convert meter per second into kilometer per hour? It is. We have 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. Then 1 meter per second is equal to 1 meter per second is equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour. Conversion we have to know because both the units are normally seen in our numericals. So, we here seen that the speed is equal to distance by time. Sometimes the speed and time may be there. You have to find out the distance. How we can obtain the formula for distance from this equation? Distance is equal to speed into time. Distance is equal to speed into time. This equation may also want to use in our problems as when we are solving the numerical. So, let us see one such question. Now let us see speed is equal to 50 meter per second and uh, time is equal to 1 minute. What is the distance covered in this case? 
again we will use the equation distance is equal to speed into time that is speed 50 into time is 1 minute that 1 minute should be changed into seconds I told you when we are doing numericals every quantity should be in SI unit that's why here 50 meter per second into 60 seconds that is equal to 15 to 60 3000 meter so in this way you can okay, find out the distance or 3000 meters distance distance meter per second or 3000 meters is the answer see the speed in the question is given as 50 meter per second and it is not mentioned towards there or here or here towards where the body is moving so east, west, north or south, towards where it is moving, the direction of motion is not mentioned in value of the speed, it gives that magnitude only, it does not tell us anything about the direction, right? So here speed means it is only a magnitude, such quantities which has magnitude only are known as, what are they called? Scalars, so speed is a scalar quantity as it does not talk anything about the direction. Then, is there any quantity which has direction plus speed or which is speed plus direction? Is there any quantity? So, that, it to the, that will be our next parameter. As a speed gives only the magnitude, of course, there is a quantity which tells us which, which is speed plus direction. So, let us go into it. Speed plus direction, which is that quantity. For that, we have to again bring our earlier context of this uh, position change between two bodies A and B. See, a body is changed the position from A to B. And two paths are shown here. This path and this path. Right? Two paths are shown here. And when the body moves through this path, this particular path, it is known as Yes, it is the displacement here because the shortest distance and always directed towards B. But see about this path, it is its a, and the length of the path is greater than the displacement and it is pointing towards different directions at a different times, times, right? So, here the shortest distance or the displacement is always towards a particular Point. So, we call it as a vector quantity. This change in position from A to B, we call it as a vector quantity and that quantity is displacement. Okay. And this quantity, the entire length of the path is called as distance. And we have discussed distance by time is speed. Then of course, there will be a displacement by time also, right? And the displacement by time, it is known as velocity. So, velocity is displacement divided by time. Then we can say velocity is speed plus direction because when we say velocity of the body from point A to point B, they are along with the magnitude, we indicate the direction also from here to here, right? The body is moving from here to here. So, there is a particular direction towards east. The body is moving towards east. So, there the direction of the quantity also mentioned. That's why velocity is a vector quantity and velocity is displacement divided by time. And what about the SI unit of velocity? Velocity displacement by time. Unit of displacement meter. Unit of time second. So, the same unit meter per second. Unit of velocity also meter per second. So, we can say that velocity is speed plus direction. So, the two quantities we had discussed, speed and velocity. Let me ask one question. Can speed is equal to velocity? Can speed is equal to velocity at any time? Speed is equal to velocity. Let us see. See, speed means distance divided by time. Velocity means displacement by time. And it is a difference also we have discussed. In such, from such a scenario, I am asking whether speed can equal to velocity. Accordingly, speed velocity can equal to velocity. Just think about it. Hello, it's okay. But, when body moves along a straight line, if the motion is one dimensional motion, if the body moves along a straight line, or we can call it as rectilinear motion or one dimensional motion. In that case, 
see in that case distance is equal to displacement right distance is equal to displacement the distance is equal to magnitude of displacement i can say distance is equal to magnitude of displacement so speed is equal to distance by time right speed means distance by time so instead of distance we can write magnitude of displacement by time means speed is equal to magnitude of velocity so we can say that speed is equal to magnitude of velocity which means when body moves along straight line or if the body is executing one dimensional motion speed is equal to magnitude of velocity so there we can use speed and velocity interchangeably it means the magnitude of velocity is equal to speed speed and velocity speed is distance divided by time velocity is displacement by time speed is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity and the similarity is both has the SI unit meter per second the SI unit of both the quantity is meter per second okay so the, that's about speed and the velocity so our second parameter second set of parameter is speed and 